Hey toy collectors, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. I've got my buddy Nick here. We are going to look through a giant box of G.I. Joe vehicles. Back in the fall, I picked up this collection for $100 at Columbus the Flea Market uh, in New Jersey. And uh, I picked out the figures earlier and kind of lined them up in the front. Nothing really amazing there. There are a few vehicle drivers because this is a big box of vehicles. So I, I think some of those figures must have gone with the same collection. There's some uh, Remco guys are kind of look like G.I. Joe knockoffs, but actually came before G.I. Joe's. Nobody's really complete, but there are some accessories to Road Pig and Psych Out and a few other guys. But the main thing here is these vehicles, and I want to see if, you know, Nick could help me put them together because he's kind of my vehicle expert friend. The Trek Viper is decent. Shame he doesn't have his gun. The Trek Viper is definitely yeah. cool. There were a few, you know, Army Builder guys. Trek Viper, Flak Viper... And uh, there's an Annihilator who needs a rubber band. But yeah, Track Viper being a Army Builder and Vehicle Driver is definitely a, a cool addition. Yep. So one of the first things I saw that made me interested in this box when I saw it at the flea market was this Python Patrol Stun. Uh, the Stun is one of my favorite vehicles from the uh, you know its original release, and it looks great in the Python colors. I know there are some pieces here. I actually saw hubcaps. But it's probably going to be missing some engine covers, and it's definitely got at least one broken flag. These usually break, but that one's unbroken. One good engine cover. So There is a right and left side to that, too. The fact that there's two flags here that are broken, plus one that's still attached, makes me think that this there must have been two stun at some point, unless... Unless it, it was like a brother-brother type of thing. Something like that, or... Like, well, I've gotten collections before where it's been doubles of everything because they didn't want to not get... Right, one thing for the one, one brother. One thing for somebody, and then you know, the other one be jealous. So I've got... It's done with the hubcaps. It's got the guns. It's got one... It's got a laser cannon in the back. So it's really just missing one engine cover, and I guess the one broken flag at this point, which is pretty good. Um, It goes by on these things. Uh, you know it goes side. on the other side. It kind of goes like, side. it sweeps back. Okay. Yeah. It's very hard to find them unbroken. This goes with back blast. Yeah, I've actually broken them on regular stun. Yeah, I don't even put them on. Them on. Them yeah. Alright, so we got a Python stun. I am seeing a Hiss 2, which goes to flat wipe, track wiper. Now this... Should have tank treads on the side, unless they're in the bottom of the box. They, the, when I bought this box, they let me kind of dig through the box, but they had all of these parts in a plastic bag. That's why they're already pulled out. So unless the treads are in the bottom of this box, this is never going to be complete. Uh, I guess it's missing some missiles also, though, probably. Those are the missiles that would go to this. Um, and if you open the back... It's got two of these. Okay, these are the little railings for the troop yep. compartment. So it's not complete, even if we could find the Correct, tracks. yeah. Okay. It's two. Another really cool vehicle, though. Very cool. Uh, I'm seeing a Mamba here, which I had as a kid. Now, unless there's rotor blades in the box, it's definitely not complete. There are some missiles, though, there I can see right away. There are missiles. Missile. And then it should have, like, that giant bomb, but I don't see that anywhere. It has one really big bomb that goes yeah. in the bottom. This vehicle is really weird because it has dual rotors. Yeah. I'm... So when you spin this, they both spin at the same time, and it's geared so they don't hit each other. Uh, which was a neat feature, but it just was hard to work as a kid. It also has the little escape pod looking jets that go on it. Yeah. Um, also not here so far. Yeah, there's anyway. not a whole lot of shots. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing a thunderclap, which is kind of exciting because I don't actually have a thunderclap in my collection. Oh, there's supposed to be two of them. The thunderclap is a giant cannon. There's the back one. So we've got multiple sets of the tractors that push and pull the vehicle. So this end? Present, yeah. And that's that end. And then the cannon. It's got these. Got to put these in. That goes with it. Are these this or the Rolling Thunder? No, that's for this. Oh, are they? Okay. Yep. They go kind of go like this. Oh, okay. Those are the supports. All right, that's what attaches that. Gotcha. All right, so those are going on the sides. There's an extra set of the tractor vehicles here. 
Oh, there's a whole extra of the gondola part, too. Okay. Yeah. So there might be a whole complete one of these between the two. You never know. Now, I heard this missile launcher part's kind of fragile. Yeah, it kind of fits in the bottom part right here. Okay, so there's some shells. This was kind of a neat feature to this thing. You could put the shells in it and cover it, and then when you pull this back again, it ejects the shell. So we got a gun, goes on the tail end here. Oh, so there are two of these missile racks. Yeah. Are they both in good shape? This one's still attached, so I would assume it's not. It doesn't this look one doesn't broken. look broken either. Um, Form BX257, one of the GI Joe reviewers, really stressed how fragile this piece is in his review, so I was just expecting that to be broken, kind of. Uh, looking at those. See, now that we have two of them, you have to... This is an engine cover, too. This goes to Correct. one of the tractors. It goes to this one. Yeah. Oh, they no, neither one of them have it. Here's another one of these support pieces. Well, do these antennas go to this? They do. One one and one. There's another shell. Do you just get 4 each? Yes. And these are missiles to it too, right? Yes. Wait. No. no? no. Just similar color plastic. Similar color. Alright, so here's a tractor to go over there with that one. I'm going to slide this guy off to the side. This, this missile launcher goes on the roof of Okay, you've got one over there? Yeah. So one goes over here. The tabs usually are broken, but these ones look good. Seem to be okay. And there's actually two drivers to this. One was missing a rubber band, uh, long range. Did you have the Thunderclap as a kid? No, I didn't have a lot of the... Uh, this was 88? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't get it in Joe's till 1991. Okay, so you were kind of right after this. Yeah. A, a friend of mine had this. Um, this was sort of the era where I was still collecting figures, but but not getting as many vehicles. I kind of ran out of space for the vehicles. Uh, but one of my friends, Britt, had a ton of vehicles from this era, and he had Thunderclap, and he played with it quite a bit. I love these big play sets. Yeah. There's so much playability in it. And this is pretty neat, too, because like the, the tractor pieces come off and are their own Correct. little vehicles. The gondola can stay in place like a little base. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely pretty cool. Here's one of the worst Battle Force 2000 vehicles. This is the pulverizer. Pulverizer. This had a giant cannon on the top, and it used... I don't remember what those toys were called, but they were like these little accordion tubes, and you could get building toys that were made yeah. with those. This had one of those as a support for this giant cannon. It was the one vehicle that didn't form part of the Future Fortress. Correct. I always thought of it as DJ's vehicle, because DJ was the one Battle Force 2000 guy that came out after yeah. the initial wave, and this was the one vehicle that came out after the initial wave. It was just kind of lame, because it didn't, it didn't combine. No, oh, it was an afterthought. It was yeah. after the, the initial they just, five. I think just wanted to see if the gimmick would still be popular Correct. or whatever. Yeah. All right, so we got that. Uh, I did see, like, a an arm to it or something. Yeah, there's one arm. Like, it's not even the gun, not the... Not, Not that little yeah. accordion piece. Uh, that one goes over here. So we're still working on the thunderclap. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces to that. I got a Fang too. These guys are kind of fragile, aren't they? Yeah, because it's got the, the propellers aren't here. I guess they are. If you take this off, you'll see it's like a thin plastic rod Connector. that connects them. So there's one engine cover missing. How many missiles does this thing get? Four? Six? Should be four. And this is the tail here? Yes. The bottom half. The bottom half of the tail. You don't know it gets more than four. Unless there was two of them. I think there are six, because there's one, okay. two, three sets of pegs there. I A friend of mine had this as a kid, but I didn't play with it a whole lot. Um, it just that, seems so rickety. It is. I like the original Fang. The Fang? I really like the original Fang. The, the concept was good doing the vertical takeoff, but it just... It, too, too fiddly. It gets a gun thing. in the front, too. Okay. But. So, I don't think we're complete now. I'm going to put it over here with the Mamba. The, yeah. the, the Cobra helicopter section is falling apart. 
I did like that it matched the Mamba's colors. I didn't think did. that was a cool idea. And they didn't come out the same year or anything. I don't think. They were no, two different years, right? Yeah. Mom was 87. Yeah. And that was 90. But I, I did like that they kind of corresponded with yeah. each other a little bit. Oh, I found a nope. Mamba escape pod. There is a second one. Oh. <laughs> so there's one of the little jets that yep. comes off the... I played with these little escape pod things more than I played with the Mamba. I pretended they were submarines. I pretended yep. they were spaceships. This one's missing a canopy, of course. There's another one. It's got all four of the little missiles to them. All right, there's the other fang shell. Speaking of Battle Force, Battle Force 2000. 2000. That's, uh, oh, I don't even know what yeah, that vehicle's right. called. It's the one that looks like a Jeep. Yeah. Oh, here's the gun to it, right? I did yeah. that to that part. Need that piece to build my future fortress. That's <laughs> a fine part. Oh, there's the engine cover, okay. Yeah. Um, we're starting to uncover a rolling thunder. I think I'm just going to pull it out. This is one of the biggest and best like mobile playset things other than maybe the yeah. general yeah you know this is probably one of the second biggest that you can really roll like the mobile command center was meant to roll but you it can't just, roll the defiant it stinks the defiant stinks as far yeah. as rolling this thing in the general were were both just rugged enough you could roll them around um it has platforms that slide open and giant missiles that come out there's the giant missile gi joe's going nuclear with this yeah. one I really liked the way this was designed. I had a friend that had it as a kid, and I played with it quite a bit. It had a little scout vehicle. Yes. It had a little deployable missile launcher system. Just some really cool features. Oh, here's the tower for the uh, the missiles. This ended up out of the inside. Here's the ramps, because it has a little scout car. Here's the wheel. You think that's going back on? Or is the tab was broken? Tab's broken. Tab's broken. This, my friend. Oh, is that a hiss trip? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. We might have a hiss. There's the scout car for there the Rolling is. Thunder. Hey, now I'm getting excited about this hiss. All you need now is a uh, that that bar in the back. The bar in the back. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm seeing some Tiger Force stuff. Oh, there's another piece to the Rolling Thunder. Or to the uh, uh, Thunderclap, thunder I mean. Clap. So here's the Tiger Sting. With both gas cans, it's got both doors, it's got the hood, so it's in yes. decent shape. Here's the steering, the steering wheel. wheel. And I, I enjoyed the Tiger Sting quite a bit as a kid. I would love the repaints, the Night Force, the uh, Sky Patrol, Tiger Force, Python Patrol. They putting the steering wheel in is not fun. It's tricky, especially with the, the doors and the roof on. <laughs> Again, I don't know how they expect a kid to, you know, put a figure in there. Or... There we go. Got the steering wheel in. So the missile launcher is here, but it is broken, unfortunately. The bottom peg. The peg's actually still stuck in the bottom of the Jeep. Uh, but that is kind of cool. I always liked the Tiger Force vehicles a lot. Just need one more. We've got a... Tiger Fish. That's the repaint of the Devil Fish. I had this as a kid also. These are the two Tiger Force vehicles I had. So I've got a couple missiles. No engine covers. Oh, there's a set of engines. Yeah, right here. Well, this one has a set of engines. Oh, then More must be doubles. A second one, yeah. Maybe you're right about the Brothers thing. It has to be, because... Uh, well, I think there's only two. Or there's four. Should yeah. be four of the little and missiles, two of the big two, torpedoes. Yeah. Now, there's been a little bit of discussion online about whether the Tiger Fish had different the the oh, the, cords, hoses. the hoses because there's like I think in the artwork on the box it shows it but on the blueprint it's removed or something like that. Uh 3djoes.com is kind of having a conversation about it. I am 99% sure that mine came with them as a kid, mm. but that's trusting a kid memory and Correct. we 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 all know that there's like toy urban legends that yep. aren't always true. So I'm not sure about that. Cuz if you have to do you want to try and put those treads on it? So one of the other things that I'm seeing that's a double is there is a second Python Patrol stun down here. This one happens to have both engine covers. 
all three hubcaps, but no flags. So... Because of how that does have this, you could technically... Have one as complete as it can be, minus a flag. So that's pretty cool. This one has like a floppy gun here, though. They all do. Sometimes if the seats aren't clamped together quite right, Correct. it gets it's sloppy. Like you, no, you clamp this together like, yeah. Alright, so we got two Python Patrol stuns. We got two Tiger Fish. Here's the other one. So we got an engine for it. Oh, there are some engine covers. Just one. So I don't think we've. I don't think we're gonna have a complete uh, tiger fish here, even though there's two to work with. <laughs> All better. So what do the better. missiles look like on this thing? Did I? Did you give them? Yep. Already? Oh, they're over here. Yep. Oh, they are. So is this? This is complete minus that one. That one. Yep. Bracket on the inside. And it's interesting, those brackets look very much like the ones that come with Sergeant Slaughter's Warthog. Yes. So that was like a, a gimmick they invented kind of, I guess, around the same time they were trying out seat clips and seat belts. They really went through a lot of ideas for how to put, put figures into vehicles. Oh, there's the pulverizer part. <laughs> there's two of these because it has the arms. Oh, jeez. So there must have been... Oh, here's that... There's, there's, yeah, show off that thing, the, the little accordion piece. I remember McDonald's had something along the lines of this in the Happy, you know, Happy Meal. It was this. Yeah. We had a set of toys as a kid that you could build stuff with them. Yeah, like that's it. That's it, that that's it. Into. yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like a scuba. Yeah. <laughs> you know. A little snorkel thing. Yeah, snorkel. We got a tiger shark. Shark. Now, this is actually one I never had. I had the moccasin as a kid, but I never had the tiger shark. Ooh, somebody did a terrible job with the decals Oof. on this guy. Ooh, hey, yeah, this one's not not so great. Um, it's got one of its little covers here. I don't see a whole lot on the table to go with it either, so I don't think this thing's going to get put together. There's no engine cover back here. There's no accessory cover here. It should have that little ski thing. This has a windshield to it. And a gun. Now, is the gun on this red, or is it black like the original? It's red. It's red. I'm rattling around inside. What's hidden in here? Something's in there. Always check your, your stuff. Ooh. What'd you find? Oh, Mamba rotor blades. Get excited. The find of the day. I have no idea what's floating around here. Yeah. I haven't even been able to see it. I hear it slide it through. Away. It could also be this is loose sometimes. You think that's just floating around? Seat, yeah, that's fooled me before. Maybe. Too. Maybe. Because there's been people that uh, got lots like this and they shake the vehicle and they find guns. Yeah, you can find rare accessories yeah. in inside vehicles once in a while. Yeah. Microphone sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The Swamp Masher. This is missing. Oh, it's got a broken gun here. This should have a second. Second gun. Second gun. There's a gun that goes on top here. And then there should be. It's got lots of wheels. This is definitely one of those more bizarre designs that they came up with. Bizarre colors and bizarre design. I think it should have been a Cobra vehicle. Sure. Anything that's really weird, I think, should always be Cobra. It's that same purple. Yeah, we're going with that yep. same purple. They bought a lot of plastic pellets. Alright, here's our Battle Force 2000 Dominator, Dominator right maybe. There. Something like that. So this should have little green missiles that go in here. Whoops. Drop my future fortress piece. I think this goes to a two. Yeah, I guess these little guns on the front. I don't know. I don't own all of the um, Battle Force 2000 stuff. I have the Vector Jet. Do I own any of the other vehicles? I don't think I do. I ha I only had the the snow vehicle. What was the snow tank? Is that the Dom? Was that the Dominator? I'm not good on the, the Battle Force 2000. Yeah, I, I had the snow tank as a kid, and the cannon broke off of it, mm. and then it looked really lame. Um, a friend of mine gave me the Vector as a collector, like gave me his childhood vector. But yeah, I don't I don't have too many of them. I kind of always wanted to get at least the parts to make the fortress. Yeah. But I don't know. Just never really 
They're interesting, but not great vehicles, so that's why I just never was like, oh, I should... You gotta have it. Gotta have it. I guess there's an engine cover, too, yeah. probably, for that. I don't even know which guys drive which ones. Like, is this the green guy blocker, or, or the brown they guy blocker? Even say? I think based on the card art. Uh, like, at least I always thought Avalanche drove the... There's the... Ski drove the one that I had, the snow tank, because he was the snow trooper, and he was on the box. I don't know. I think I think you could kind of figure out, like, Maverick, everyone thought Maverick drove the Vector, right? Because mm -hmm. he was the plane pilot. Yeah. I think they did have specific ones. That was a weird experiment on Hasbro's part. They never did that before or after, really, where the pilot or driver didn't come with the vehicle. Like, the only other line that even is similar is Sky Patrol, but that wasn't really defined who drove what. Correct. It wasn't like it wasn't like they used um Strato Viper's body to make one of those guys and he was the one that was supposed to fly the Raven and they used you know like they, they weren't there was no correlation, direct matchups really in that. They did line. that with Night Force too. There was no drive. Right, it was no Night it wasn't Force. wasn't yeah. obvious. But Battle Force two thousand I feel like it was pretty implied based yeah. on the art. Like everybody knew that the Marauder motorcycle was Dodgers. Like it that, just it that, just felt like that was the way they went. We got Destro's Dominator, missing a lot. What do you think of this vehicle? I like it. You like it? I, like I have it. never been a huge fan. I think it has potential. I just always felt it looked really cheap. I think if they had not used this red, it would have looked better. The, the tank treads being hollow and being so obviously hollow, and the red plastic together just sort of looked... I don't know why, it just always looked cheap to me. Like, I think the, it's it's not that different than, like, the Razorback, which is orange. Yeah. But something about this, it just never... It's the, it's the 90s. It's the know, 90s. It's... I, is that the last um, the last vehicle for the Iron Grenadiers? Yeah. It's kind of like the next wave, yeah. basically. Like, Undertow was the, like one of the last Iron Grenadier guys. I, I really think the Iron Grenadiers was a cool line, and I like most of the figures, too, but I really wish they had stuck the black and gold more carefully on all the figures and the vehicles. Because I think Annihilator would have been better in black and gold. I think that that thing would have looked better if it was predominantly black and gold. Mm -hmm. um, Undertow would have looked cooler in black and gold. I think he looks good green and red. He does, but he doesn't feel like an Iron Grand Deer to me. True. I think he looks good as like just a frogman, but... I don't know. That's just kind of my beef with that line. If you establish a trait, like... We just had that, that Battle Force 2000 tank... It still matches. It's the same blue, it's the same green, Correct. it's the same gray. That, to me, is like, that's a good decision to try and keep continuing that. It's actually, you're getting a fair amount of it together now. It's not going to have the rotor blades. Though, no, right? I don't see yeah. the rotor blades, but it's got all the missiles. It's missing one canopy, okay. but again, it could be at the bottom. It could be at the bottom of this box. Does that have a couple bro broken tabs that hold on the... Oh, uh, yeah, some broken tabs. It still holds the... The, the treads. tank tread up, which is nice. But Do you like it better as a tank or better as a helicopter? Tank. Yeah. In my world, it's, it's just a tank. They used it heavily in the cartoon. They did, in the Deke series, yeah. You know? We've got Darklon's Evader. This is a, another Iron Grenadier vehicle. And I just think this one looks better because it's the black, black and, gold and gold color scheme. Um, the red was just to pop a color on Destro and the Iron Grenadier. Correct. There was no red on the despoiler. There was just pretty much the canopy on the APG. Like, in that, that first wave, they really kept the red to a yeah. minimum, and that's why I think that looks a little goofy. Now, this is missing a wheel. It's missing some guns. But I thought this was a really cool vehicle as a kid. A friend of mine had it, and it just was like... That was not in the cartoon. It was not in the cartoon. Right. But it, it just seemed really fun... Because it's like a souped-up, like, sci-fi motorcycle. Motorcycle, kind of thing. Yeah, and that, like and that's, something Judge Dredd kids drive. Get, kids get into that kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. that's just as exciting. Um, oh, I found part to the Rolling Thunder. Here's another section of it. This is the rear gun. This is the part that slides back to let the missiles come up. And this gun was super impressive as a kid. Uh, it's got one antenna busted off, the other one's bent really bad. Found the canopy. Oh, that's cool. Shockingly, even these guns stay up. They usually always flop. Oh, oh, I think I found something for you. Ooh, nice. 
Now, does your thunderclap missing that? Yep. You got two over here. So that's actually pretty close to being complete then. Technically, it is complete. It just has some broken pegs. It just has one broken peg. Hmm. But it's a good display piece. Yeah. See, this is how I display mine. I put it under here. Okay. And go like that. It's kind of touching it. I don't know if that's how Hasbro wants you to do it. <laughs> so we got... Oh, it's got some of the mud flaps, too. It's got that. It's got the radar dish. This is the... No, this is the, not the Lynx. What is this one? Equalizer. The Equalizer. So this is the biggest of Slaughter's Marauder's tanks. It's based on the Mauler chassis with a whole new turret. They took out the motorized stuff. Correct. Is there something... I don't want to break it this. It should section. just is snap this, off. Does this just... Oh, there we go. They're just a little warped. So it's got missile launchers here. It's got cannons here. It's got its little doors for the crew compartment. It's got a mud flap on the one mud flap in the back, two in the front. There's oh, this opened up. Yeah. I, didn't, I don't think I ever realized that that was like a a compartment. It's not like you could really play inside there. Mm. And this antenna goes on the back here. Yep. So I think this is the only Slaughter's Mars vehicle I don't have. Well, it's pretty darn complete. Well, that's great then. All right, so these are the side flaps. Same as the Mauler. It does have the very rare tow cable. Tow cable. You see how twisted it is? Don't even think about trying to straighten that out because it will snap. It does have, it technically has both antennas, but the one ones is, are real bent. This one's nice. This is not broken. It does have all the missiles. And it's missing one mud flap. Oh, it's missing the radar. Or the, it's like a radar dome. Oh, goes in there. Here it is. Should fit. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have never guessed this was a G.I. Joe thing. I yeah. thought I thought for sure this was like a space capsule. Like, no. <laughs> All right. I got it. That's cool. I'm trying to... Attach these flaps here. This one is broken. Oh, it's got one broken peg. Still, I guess I won't complain. No, I wouldn't. It's a good filler. Alright, and never attach your tow never. hook. Never. Just let it lay loose. Here's the other four missiles. Oh, okay, let's go in these little <clears throat> slots on the top. Are these the same as the ones that go with the I was going armadillo to say repaint? That. Yep, they save some money and some time on that. They just reuse the missiles because it exactly has the same, almost the same missile launcher. Speaking of that, the armadillo there. Yep. And that is called the armadillo, right? It didn't yes. get renamed. No. Slaughter of Marauders. No. Nope. Because all the other ones did. You just have to. You have to call it the Slaughter of Marauders, Marauders armadillo. armadillo. Yeah. They changed it from having like four like quad machine guns on the front to having a missile rack on the Correct. back. The color scheme is so much better. I mean, it's still green. The original is still green, yeah. but it's cool. I I like the Slaughter Marauders line. I think that that camo looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, the the figures I like a lot, but are slightly downgraded because of the blue. But luckily, they didn't put any blue on the vehicles. Oh, there's actually a piece to the Lynx here. The Lynx was the Wolverine. This is missing treads. I did see the engine cover, actually. That's yep. over there. Oh, and there's a broken tow cable in this yes, there pile. Is. Right here. And so that probably would have gone... One of those two tow cables went to this. You have one of the smoke... Gr smoke grenades. That goes to the equalizer. Equalizer. Oh, here we go. Here is... Yeah. I think I stole most of them for the yeah the other tank. Still not bad. Nope. They're fairly cheap. The, the Cobra hovercraft. The GI Joes have one of the coolest vehicles in the whole line. Their hovercraft, and Cobra's got one of the worst. 
This is when they went real cheap. They went to these like hollow body vehicles with little tiny wheels on the bottom. The Cobra Rat is legendary for being terrible. That was from a couple years later. But this was one of those early vehicles where like you can just see they, they were trying to hit a certain price point and they went super cheap. It's a platform that had some missiles pegged on it, a gun, a seatbelt, and this these little tiny turbines on the back. And this one's missing one of them. Here's another vehicle from that line. The, that is the Devastator. The Devastator. What an amazing name for such a puny <laughs> little vehicle. This looks like a pack rat vehicle. It does. You know? I think it's Cobra's version of the pack rat, but <laughs> it's people got drove this. And they shared they shared all the same missiles. Okay. They're all the same missiles. These two Cobra ones have the same missiles. There was a series of G.I. Joe vehicles that were very similar to these two. The Radar Rat. The radar Rat, which is here. Okay broken because they all broke. And they're basically like designed the same. They use the same color plastic for the bodies. They just used red accessories for the Cobra ones and green accessories for the Joes. It's almost amazing they didn't like issue them both in both colors. Like, yeah. here's the Joe version, here's the Cobra I version. Let's see. Here's the, uh, the fan part. Oh, huh. Captain Courage goggles. <laughs> now we are ready for battle in style. He should wear them the rest of the... <laughs> All right. What else we got here? There's an engine cover for the Rolling Thunder. I put one with mine. Or Thunderclap. Oops. Thunderclap. I'm going to keep calling it the Rolling Thunder, though. These, <laughs> these platforms actually do go to the Rolling Thunder. Yes, they do. Oh, are these the Lynx treads? Yes, they are. And they're probably... Are they busted? Yes, they are. That's why they're off. That's why they're off. Yep. The Wolverine was the same exact way. If these treads are off, 99% of the time they're broken. It's one of those things that once they're on, they don't like to come off. Here's the missile stand that goes to the Rolling Thunder. This goes to the... This, this was the one piece I thought to the Rolling Thunder that wasn't really well designed. Yeah, because you have to take... Well, it, you... it like comes on and off and you use it to kind of lock everything in yeah. place. But it, it doesn't have any way for the Joes to move it. Like everything else is very like believable. And this thing was just like, I guess everybody riding around in the vehicle gets out and shoots a missile. Picks it up yeah. and carries it, you know. To get it out of the way. There's a Rolling Thunder seat. I know there's a few of them laying here and some yep. guns. There's a Rolling Thunder windshield. How about this? What's that go to? That is the Rolling Thunder as well. Oh, uh, okay. Another compartment. Th that is what this sl slides on. Where's that? No, no, no. Yeah, this thing. Because, like... That's what that locks into. Yeah. It just one goes... Of one of the doors. Right. Steps up for the, uh... The two giant pockets. Only a couple things left in the box here. What do we got? There's Another the door. door. That's not even a G.I. Joe thing. No, that goes whatever this... Whatever that dragon is. Rolling Thunder seat. And we got a couple more missiles. Oh, this is the one to the... I don't think I knew these were removable. Did you know they were removable? I did not. So I always thought the Swamp Master had a... I thought they were guns. They're actually removable missiles. Interesting. I think that's it. Always... Flip up the flaps. Check the flaps. Never know. There might be something good in there. Nope. All right. So how do you think I did? This is this was worth a hundred bucks. Oh. There's absolutely. there's let's see. We think there's at least one good thunderclap here, possibly two. Yeah. Once we get it put together. Put together. The his two's in good shape. There's at least one pretty good stun. The Mamba's junk. I think the Rolling Thunder's junk. Yeah, the one wheel, the main wheels broken. broken off. Yeah, uh, the, the Dominator was okay. It's a good display piece. So you know, about fifty fifty on. And you got some figures complete. There's some figures. There's yeah. some extra parts that can be traded or or sold to other people. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with with this whole setup. I would have paid that for it. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. 
Thanks for watching this super exciting outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.